card. Now what we are doing, trying to do is like, we need to update the data and uh, update the data. By default, for all the columns, uh, we are trying to update the data if already exists, if the data already exists, how will it append the data? How will it append the data, okay? So let us consider, we have update. So we have updated, how many columns updated? 34 rows. So how many rows updated? 34 rows. So can we go and see that? So that we'll say the product ID comma, I don't want to like, okay, we'll see first product and all. So how is it? Yes. So now ID name and we'll see countries, okay? ID comma name comma, we don't want all the things. We are working on uh, this column only. So we'll say this column only I require. Okay, I got it. But what you want, you want to update, apart, so like let us consider now you said, uh, uh, product um, ID one or two is available in other area also. So apart like existing data also should be there. Existing data also should be there. So not like this. Existing set data means already countries is there. Already countries is there. But you, what do you want to append? You want to append what? One more country. One more country. So I will say South Africa. So but that South Africa should be appended with comma, right? Because comma to that it should be there. When we try to execute, it got executed. Now, what I'll say, uh, where ID is equal to one or two. So now, what happened, if you see already existing string, anything you want to append, you will use a pipe symbol, pipe. Normally, we'll use this pipe symbol in Linux also. Here, all it's applicable. Pipe. Is this? Pipe, pipe symbol. To append the data, to append the string data to the existing. You can't append to the integer, okay? This is applies only for string, string data, character varying, <laughs> character varying kind of data. So let us update one more time with another row, uh, another uh, this one, and not only the South Africa. We will go with uh, any other uh, country, say uh, Germany. Okay, Germany. For how many IDs the multiple IDs data we can filter, right? So now we can filter how many IDs we have rather than other than this uh, web uh, ID not in. Okay, not in. So when you say in, you should give regs. Regs expects multiple values. So sorry, it takes it took the below query also. Hmm. Now we selected select only. Yeah, without one or two came. So what and all we have? We will say one or eight, comma one or nine, comma one one zero. So now multiple values we got to update. We updated one. So now multiple values we got updated. Okay, clear, right? So now in this way we can apply our pipe symbol and update the data. So tomorrow you want to find out, you want to give, let us consider your requirement will be, okay. You have a table, you have a table, okay. Um, uh, apart from that, we have a query called F here, right? F here. So now this you selected the query. What happened? The, uh, your requirement is like, your client requirement was like to give the data along with the other column also but in a single column, like a product name and a year should be in a single column and you should give output. Table, it is two columns. Whenever you are fetching the data, you should fetch in a joint manner, in a joint manner. You should not give it as two columns, but you should give it as a one column rather than one column, one column. That, that is another point. So now what we'll say, what is the column name? Name, name, pipe, Okay, pipe, country. So now I will say, I need to give a hyphen also so that I can understand what is that actually. Uh, countries, countries, pipe, 
hyphen f here from products so i can give a alias name to this product name right we know how to give a alias name so product name okay all came in one column so now it is a one column to me our data is appended and came. you got you don't want to give multiple columns this may be the scenario you may need to join multiple columns to single column and give that but table wise this is a div division different columns but output wise you want to join and send send to front end clear so you want to do this right this is about the pipe symbol 